dear students now we will be learning about this x ray of the abdomen and this x ray of the abdomen is different from x ray kub x ray kub was a plain x ray but this x ray is a contrast x ray and its name is written at the bottom ivu so what i should understand from this word ivu the word i denotes to intra v for venus and u for urogram in past people used to call it ivp but this term has been replaced by ivu and i have mentioned what is the meaning of this ivu intra venus urogram what we do in for this x ray when we are taking this x ray for the patients where we need it we make them fast overnight and we prepare them and then before this x ray we take a plain x ray we used to call it as a control study and then we inject a contrast material through their veins and then we take a serial of x ray during this process and if you can see very clearly you can see that somewhere here a time has been mentioned so i'm not going in details of what are the timelines and all that but you should be knowing this ivu is not one single x ray shot we have a series of shots so what we need to focus within this x ray before going to the contrast highlighted thing let's try to identify the bony landmarks and i'm sure everybody can see the 12th 11 and 12 ribs they are very easily visible you can see the lateral border of the sous major muscle on both the sides there is no rocket science you can see very clearly the sacroiliac joint you can see the ischial spines and then you can see the first second third fourth and fifth lumbar vertebrae without any problem you can see their transverse processes on both the sides and then last but not the least you can see the outline of this kidney but this kidney is more nicely visible why it is different in this case and why we were not able to see in the previous study the reason is these kidneys has received this contrast material and wherever blood has reached so these kidneys has been taken up that contrast that's why it has been very clearly visible now after seeing this what we need to focus in this given x ray we need to look for the pathway of the ureter outline of the bladder as well as outline of the kidneys so i'm erasing what i have marked so far for the purpose of understanding these structures now we can all see my kidneys has been highlighted very nicely and i don't see any shadow within this renal area so in other words i don't see any obvious stone or calculi so my kidneys are fine there is no obvious pathology seen then the next structure which has been highlighted here can you focus here so what are these structures these are my major calices and we all know in these major calices we have minor calices and they are opening into these which are not visible here but we can see very clearly the major calices on both the sides on the left side as well as on the right side and you can see very clearly let me highlight it for you and even you can see some part of the minor calices on both the sides and now what we can see very clearly one 
2 and 3. So we have upper, middle and lower. What do we have? Upper, middle and lower, major calyx. And I'm sure everybody can see them. And then we can see them, these upper, middle and lower calyx, they join to form this renal pelvis on both the sides. So renal pelvis has been formed. And now this renal pelvis, I'll be using another color for that. So this renal pelvis becomes ureter. And then this ureter is going down all the way. And now you can see the ureter is visible. Why this ureter is visible? Because we have injected a contrast and the contrast material is flowing. First it has reached to the kidneys. And after a while it has been started excreting out of these kidneys through going the tubular system, reaching to the renal pelvis and then entering into the ureter. Remember, within these ureters we have peristalsis. So, and this urine moves with the action of the peristalsis. So, it is not necessary that in, in one single shot you may see the whole length of the ureter. Luckily, in this x-ray we can see the whole length of the ureter, but sometime some part is missing. So, do not anticipate it as there is some pathology. Now, if I focus down, I can, I can see very clearly the major part of the abdominal part. abdominal part of the ureter both on right and left side and now you can see that this ureter has reached to this joint and I am sure you remember we call this joint as sacro iliac joint and where is this this is this is where you can see the sacroiliac joint so let me draw it again so there you can see the ureter which is coming down and then this ureter crosses in front of the sacroiliac joint on the left side it's going close to the spine of what? Ischium and then you can see its opening in the cavity of this urinary bladder where you can see it is now visible to us very clearly. So this is what my urinary bladder and this urinary bladder is clearly visible to us. And then if I continue, I can complete the pathway of the right ureter as well. I am using a different color. And you can see both of these ureters has been opened up into the cavity or the lumen of this urinary bladder. So now, why we are doing this type of x-ray? We are using this x-ray modality for identifying if the patient present with some problem and what type of problem? Some kind of urolithiasis. So to, to look for the functionality and the structure of the whole urinary system, we should follow this type of study. We have so many modalities available. But this is one of the old fashioned strategy and this is very commonly used in the practice of urology and you can see now everything is being highlighted for you and you can see, let me recap, when we are seeing the contrast within the kidney that is called nephrogram and after that you can see the minor and the major calyces has been highlighted. You can see the renal pelvis on both the sides. 
you can see this renal pelvis it becomes a ureter you are looking at the abdominal part and this is the pelvic part of the ureter and when this ureter runs within the runs within the wall of the urinary bladder so this much part is the intramural part and inside the lumen of the ureter we all know there are the openings of these ureters and these are this part which has been drawn purple that is the intramural part or intravesical part of the ureter and the place where they are going this is my trigon and then this urinary bladder it continues as urethra so i'm sure everything is made clearer to you thank you for watching this video